What's going on, Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here, and welcome to another episode of the Search for the Holy Online Lego Deals. Hopefully we find some sales. It is during Amazon Prime days, so I'm thinking we're gonna score. We'll see what happens, but enough talk. Let's get right into it. So to kick us off, we're gonna start right with uh, Amazon Prime. We will check maybe a couple other online stores, but this is gonna be the main one. So right here we have Lego typed in, and uh, let's go to Amazon Prime. Okay, so we click the Prime button. Okay, these are full price. Where is this? Okay, we're starting to see some sales. Here's the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Medieval Castle. I already own this set along with this set, so I'm probably going to pass. Plus, 12% off is not that great of a deal. That's about uh, a little less than 100 USD it's selling for. This X-Wing's not terrible, 20% off. Okay, they even have some of the newer sets. The Death Star Trench Run Diorama. Lego Creator Pirate Ship. Really good set. If you guys are looking for you know, a good ship, a good pirate set, this is the one to get. 20% off a TIE Fighter. Okay, I may... I may buy that. I wouldn't mind one because I want to kind of mod it and make it a TIE Interceptor. It's not a terrible deal. Oh, they even... Okay, they even have the new Mario set on sale. Okay, this one. Uh, I almost want to buy... Here, I'll show you guys what this one is. We're going to add this to cart. I mean, why not? Yeah, we'll add it to cart. Okay, it didn't bring up any credit card information or anything, so that's good. <laughs> Can keep this uh, recording. And, all right. I don't mind this. Okay, there's a lot of deals, but I'm really looking for, well, I mean, 20% off isn't bad. I mean, you can't scoff at that, right? The Lego City Car Transporter, this is a pretty interesting looking model, and it's 30% off. <sighs> I'm not sure if I wanna buy this one, but we'll see. I'll keep it on my radar. <laughs> they have the uh, Majestic Butthole Tiger, as m &R Productions likes to uh, call it. It literally does have one, that's why I'm saying it. Uh, ooh, uh, I don't like Technic, but this is kind of cool. The Batman Batmobile, it is 12% off, so not bad. Okay, I'm going to take a deep dive here, though, and try and find some really good sales, because I'm thinking we can do a little bit better than than we are. Okay, so I typed in Prime Day Deals, and now I'm getting even better sales. So right here we have the at, -AT for about 153 Canadian, which is uh, about 120 USD. 24% off, so that's not terrible. We also have the AAT. I know you guys just absolutely love the look of that model. The minifigures are pretty good though in this set, just the AAT could be a little bit better. We even have some Harry Potter sets. Uh, I don't mind this. This is the Iron Man Iron Armory. I do own the last version of this, so I think I'm going to pass on this one, but that is not a bad deal. I mean, well, it's 15% off. That's that's not crazy good, but it's not terrible either. Oh, we got 501st Battle Packs on sale. Okay, you know what? I'm going to add just one of these, just, you know, just to do it. Why not? We'll add that to cart. All right, we're finding some sales. Prime Day is actually not too bad. There are some good sales. They even have the Luke Skywalker helmet. I wish I almost waited, but I did get a promo with it, so it's it's not terrible, but... Oh! They got some Speed Champion sets on sale, too. We're <laughs> just buying every... Okay, this is only 10% off. Uh, I'll, I'll just put it on there. Why not? I did want to get that. This is a bit better deal. The Speed Champions Toyota GR Supra. Okay, we're not, you know what, we're not going to be doing any other sites today. We're just doing Prime. I mean, that, that's what it's all about. You get two days a year, and, uh, yeah. I, okay, you know, uh, do I want to get... Yeah, you get two days a year to get these sales, so you might as well capitalize on it, right? I don't mind the Imperial Armored Marauder. I almost want to buy another one of these. I have one already. Keep that on the wa wanted list. Oh, they even have the Razor Crest on sale. Guys, 
If I didn't have most Icely Cantina, this is a pretty, like to get a UCS set for 15% off, that's sort of a steal. They also have some plants. Oh, you can get the globe as well. Okay, buying this, oh, guys. Okay, they got the Creator Expert Assembly Square for $289. That's about uh, $220 USD. That's a good deal. I do already own this set. I'm gonna pass on it, but I'm definitely getting this, this guy. 30% off, that's a steal. And, oh, they got the Taj Mahal. Oh man. They have the Republic gunship for 15% off. This is one of those sets, in case you guys are wondering, it's going to increase in price. Um, it's on the list for sets to you know, raise in price as of September, I believe. So 408 is not terrible. I just wanna check on lego.com. So I did check just to be sure. And yeah, this is a $480 set on lego.com. So, or lego.ca. So that's almost tempting to capitalize on it. I don't think I'm ever gonna get it cheaper than that, especially with the price increase. I didn't really wanna spend that much money, but I'll think about it. I'll keep that one on the back burner. Okay, they also have the RTD2 on sale. 15% off, that's not terrible. They even have some Monkey Kid sets, 48% off. I own no Monkey Kid sets. Uh, I'll probably pass on this one. That's a good deal though. If you like Monkey Kid, go check that set out. Hopefully it's still available when this comes out. I'm gonna try and get this video out for you guys earlier too, just to kinda Maybe help you guys out and see what I kind of do. Basically with Prime, you just want to make sure you shop the first day of Amazon Prime days because the stuff will go out of stock, it'll get sold out. Pretty simple advice, but... Oh, they even have some uh, lighting kits. This is something I want to get into. Oh man, they also have... I don't mind this set, but if I get this, if I'm paying this, I'm just going to get the UCS Republic Gunship. But this big, basically, cargo boat for Monkey Kid is a pretty cool looking model. They even got some, uh, some Disney art. I'm gonna pass on that. Another Monkey Kid set, which is crazy discounted. They got some video stuff, 42% off. I like this one too. Like, holy crap, they got a lot of good, well, decent deals. I wouldn't say great. The Monkey Kid sets are probably great, 50% off, but 20% off, that's nothing to scoff at, and I do like the overall look of this. Okay, all right, so I think we've seen older deals. I'm gonna take a little bit more of a look and just to make, you know, just to make sure. I took out some of the filters and a couple other sets popped up that weren't before. You can get the Mandalorian Starfighter for 17% off, not terrible. Just literally typed in Lego, so now I'm just getting everything. Okay, they even have the tree house is on sale for 15% off. Okay, I really, really like this set. I was hoping that it would be on sale. It is the Hydro Bounty 71756. This really reminds me of the Nautilus from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I do believe that's kind of what it's supposed to be. It's called Hydro Bounty. Very cool Ninjago set. It reminds me of Aquazone a little bit, but it's not on sale, so I'm gonna pass on it. Okay. Not really seeing any other sales. I was hoping some of the new space sets were gonna be on sale as well, but it looks like they're full price. All right, here's a couple more sales. The Imperial Probe Droid. I own this one along with the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle. They're full, pr well, no, no, they're not full price. 15% off, 22% off. Not terrible, but I do own both of those sets already. Guys, 
The defensive Hoth sets are going for $44 Canadian or about, I don't know, 35, 32, 32 US. That's crazy. They're already appreciating in price. So if you can get your hands on them, go buy them now because they, they haven't even retired and they're going for much more than what they're worth. Got a couple more Jurassic World sets. We also have the Attack of the Clones Yoda. Ah, uh, dude, I think this is based off Revenge of the Sith. That's that's wrong. They also have the uh, Boutique Hotel. This is full price, or at least it's not even bringing up a price on it, which I assume because it's, you know, full price or sold out. They got some Shang-Chi sets on sale. Oh, this one's off a little bit. 12%, uh, that's not enough to make me jump on it, but there's at least a sale on that. So we're running into a lot of decent sales, but not great sales now. Okay, so we got the filters back in. They also have the typewriter. I may have mentioned that, I'm gonna pass on it. I think I have my game plan figured out for what I'm gonna end up buying here. If I didn't have most Isley, I would definitely buy it here, as well as the Razor Crest. This set is soon to retire too, in case you guys are wondering. Although we may be getting a UCS version of it. The Taj Mahal is also very cool looking. But you know what, guys? We're going to do it. We're going to get the Republic gunship. I'm going to add this to cart. I did not expect to spend this much money. But what we're going to do to make this a little bit more cheap, I guess, is we're going to delete this speed champion set, the McLaren, which was only 10% off. We're also going to get rid of the 501st battle pack as much as that pains me. And do I really want to get this one? Yeah, that's not a bad deal. 20% off. And I do think it's a pretty cool looking little set. It's based off of an older city set from like the 90s. So there's a bit of nostalgia with this one for myself. Or it might have been, it might have been Paradisia but one of the two, that's what we're gonna go with. So I don't wanna click this proceed to check out cause I think it will show my address and all that good stuff, but maybe my credit card information, uh, which you know, you never wanna share on the internet, but these are what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna get the Republic gunship, did not expect to buy this in this stream or this uh, shopping video, but we're gonna do it. You're not gonna get a better deal. Hopefully this video gets out to you in time and you guys can capitalize on buying this Republic gunship as well if you had your eye on it. I just, you know, UCS sets barely ever go on sale. So I thought that I should maybe take advantage of this deal because it's not gonna get any cheaper, especially since come September, this set I think is running up another 10%. So if you really do the math on this, this is like over 25% off, which is crazy. Something like that, I have to do the math, but this is a deal. But yeah, this is what we're gonna go with. Didn't expect to spend this much money, but that's what Prime deals are all about. You get rid of the stuff that's eh, not as good a deal, and maybe you already have some of them. Like I have six 501st Battle Packs, and you know, the one Speed Champion set, eh, it wasn't that great of a discount, so I can pass on that. I will be capitalizing on these ones just because they were both 20% off and 30% off. That's a big savings, but 10% is just not all that great. But that pretty well does the video. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on the ones that I chose. If you maybe, if I maybe should have chose something different, maybe there's a set that I'm overlooking. Just leave in the comments and uh, maybe I'll buy it if it's still on sale, at least in the next day or two. But that pretty well does the video. But if you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you know, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future Searches, we do online searches. We also do vlogs where we go to literal stores. Sometimes we win, sometimes we don't. This one we definitely won, but that pretty well does the uh, episode again. But thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.